Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jake Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is my review for Love and Hip Hop New York Season 10, Episode 10. It is 4 in the morning. I don't know why I'm up doing this, but I agree it is what it is. Um, If you have not done so, please subscribe. Become a Jaybird. Center yourself. Like, comment, share. Follow me on Instagram and or Twitter at J underscore Lee's underscore Corner. Let's get into it. Okay. Jonathan has a nephew. Okay, he has a nephew named Derek who is disabled. He has a disability that I can't pronounce. I'm not going to lie. But it causes his joints to be bound together and he can't walk. And this is the pettiness in me or just the me in me or just the YouTuber in me. When I seen this, I could hear Alex, you know, Alex and the riders on, the, on YouTube. I could hear Alex saying, and fast forward. And I was like, I really feel like fast forwarding. Not that I think, you know, oh, we shouldn't support, you know, whatever. I feel like love and hip hop has a, a plateau of things. I'm like, this is too serious for this show. This is too serious for this show. And because I kind of want to go on on job, people looking like, you have a whole disabled nephew that you could have been bringing to the forefront of your storyline, but yet and still you want to be fussing and fighting and fooling around with Tahiri and Jonathan, girl, with Tahiri and Sin and Joe and and with Chrissy and 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 and, and, and Yandy, but you have a whole serious girl. I just cannot. Anyway, I was like, and Alex, but I was like, fast forward, but I'll cover it a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna go into all that because again. I, girl, I don't care. Uh, Jonathan brings up how the doctors here want to amputate the little boy's legs um, because of the insurance won't cover any surgery or they don't think he needs surgery or they can't do surgery. I was confused, but he then brings up how because his nephew is an internet celebrity, um, a doctor from Spain wants to do the surgery for 160 thousand dollars and i feel like but if he's a, a celebrity on social media wouldn't the dogs want to do it for free for publicity mona if y'all made this up if y'all made this up for nothing i'm gonna be pretty pissed off okay so you know he brings up I, I don't have the money because that's put down my money on drugs and fillers and sparkly jackets and partying and stuff i added the fillers and sparkly jackets but he spent all his money on everything else except care for this little boy, okay, for his nephew. And so he's upset with himself because he said he wasn't responsible with his money. I'm like, you can't raise no more money? Y'all here in sparkly jackets, okay? Your face always look fixed. Boy, get it, get it together. So he has the Indian sin there and a little... Girl, I was like, I, don't, I didn't care. I didn't. And not... I didn't care about the story of the child. You... <laughs> Love and hip hop has a certain plateau of things that I come here for. This isn't one of them. Okay, I just it's it's seen too much. But Yandy and seeing their holding hands and yeah, like you know, if it's up to me, this little boy will walk again. I'm like, okay. I just feel like, what does this have to do with love or hip hop? Does he want to be a hip hop dancer? I just feel like. You can't want to sprinkle in these seriousness of topics to 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 ward off the bullshitness of the show, okay? And it made me mad, but you know that's what you want to do and stuff. Um, I'll come back to it because I have other pictures. I think. Well, do I have other pictures of it? I don't. I do. I gotta wait. Um, Mama Jones is back. Okay, we've been seeing the Mama Jones should be back, and Mama Jones is back, honey, with her pump finger waves on her head, and her burgundy red lip, honey, and her microbladed eyebrows and everything, and saying Mama Jones is back, and she doing some kind of podcast with Jim Jones as a guest or whatever with her finger waves. Punk waves all up and through. I said, come on now, Mama Jones. Now, her and Chrissy still don't really like each other. That ain't never changed or whatever. Um, now, we know her house burned down, you know, he said it was two years ago. I believe it was on Christmas because I remember even on, being on the news and they was like showing the house like burned down, okay? So, it, was, it burned down to the ground. 
So the house is being rebuilt from scratch, okay? Uh, from the ground up. So he, they say she been in a hotel ever since. And she say she tired of being in a hotel. I said, that's why Jim Jones' house got foreclosed on. Because that fool bad with his money. Ain't no way on God's earth that your mama house burned down two years ago. And you been paying for a hotel for two years. You know how expensive a good hotel is? Is she in a motel? Can you see the motel? Because I feel like you could get a better bang for your buck if you would have had a rental house. When she, I said, oh, I said, maybe she, maybe she had been in the hotel for the past, like, week or so. But you, he, but he said the house burned down two years ago, and then she's sitting in it because the house going to be fixed up. And then he said, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take you to the house to see everything, you know what I'm saying? We get it decorated. And then she said, yeah, because I'm tired of being in the, in, in the hotel. I said, she been in the hotel for two years? Two years? Jimmy, you done with money. If you, if you have been paying, if anyone has been paying for Mama Jones to live in a hotel for two years, Jim Jones don't have hotel for two years money. I'm sorry he don't. And we see that because his house got foreclosed on. Girl, bye. Anyway, so, you know, Jim brings up how, uh, you know, of course, Mom, Mama Jones and Chrissy, you know, just don't see eye to eye. They never really have. But he say Chrissy is decorating the house. And Mama Jones don't know. And she may be upset. And then we see him and Chrissy talking about later on. Should we tell Mama Jones that you decorated it? I don't know. You think we should tell her? Maybe we should keep it a secret. I'm going to collect some Jim Jones and Chrissy came back to love hip hop all these years later to tell us about a foreclosed home of five and ten years ago and Mama Jones' house burning down and Chrissy doing Why they come back? Poor gay! I, and Mama, girl, anyway. So I guess we're going to see in a couple episodes Mama Jones' house and Chrissy and Jimmy showing her the house, and she's gonna flip out, and she's gonna probably break something. I don't want Chrissy shit here. It's gonna be something like that. I, girl, I, I didn't care. I didn't care. And stuff. We see Olivia and Yandy meet up, okay, for no good reason but to gossip, okay? Olivia brings up, I'm engaged now, and my man don't like being in the spotlight, so he's the whole secret or whatever. He's behind the scenes, and I love it. Okay, that's fine. You know, Yandy brings up, I heard Kimbella are not friends anymore, okay? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure Olivia been watching the show. And if you and Yandy been talking or whatever, shouldn't you know that already? But I digress. Anyway, you know, me and Chrissy ain't friends. Not Chrissy. Me and Kimbella ain't friends or whatever. But she real cool with Chrissy who beat her ass on camera. And <laughs> Olivia's like, I don't... She dog walked her. Yes, she did. And, and Chrissy and, and, and Kimbella out here... Both for no storyline, just ass kissing each other. Girl, bye. Anyway, Olivia then brings up how, oh, you know, you not cool with Kimbo no more. Y'all was good friends. Me and Rich was good friends. And me and him ain't cool because Rich stole $117,000 from me. And I said, that song generated a hundred. Okay. Anyway, it, I really, Olivia, I, I know Rich. I can't believe he's an old thief now. He may be a scoundrel and a cheater, okay, and a and a creep squad member, but no, not a thief. A thief in the night, okay? Do you think he was really just recouping business expenses? Like, maybe he really wasn't stealing. She's like, no, he stole it. I synced it. Is what she said, okay? Anyway, and I talked to him, whatever. He had all these excuses. I say, we didn't see no excuses. What he said was, it wasn't your song. You sang the song, but you didn't write the song. It was my song, so he really didn't have me. He had, like, one excuse. It wasn't your song. So, um, and she did say, because my lawyer was trying to contact him all these years, and he kept moving, he kept changing his phone numbers, whatever, and my lawyers cannot find him for the past seven years. That's you a lie. If your lawyers couldn't find Rich Dollars, but me from Catfish was able to find him on Catfish last season, I'd review the damn episode. You can't tell me you couldn't find Rich. Me found Rich. Okay, knee found rich, and it wasn't even rich, it was catfish. It was like, else using his pictures. Girl, the bye. I was trying to find him, and I couldn't. Cause my, he would love him out every season. Every, you you could have easily said, Mona, I need to find rich. You want to know why? I got content for you. He owed me some money. Mona would have gladly gave you Rich's schedule. 
Tay may do his drive, but I digress. Anyway, she, I can't believe, Rich, we don't believe you, Olivia. At least I don't. I really do believe she sang on a song, he wrote the song, and kept the money. Um, we see Jonathan meet up with Kim Bella and Chrissy. And at first they chit chat because they ain't talk since that whole his 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 perfume party where Kimbella and Yandy and Chrissy was fussing, okay? And now at this point in time, Kimbella and Chrissy are well, yeah, cause at that party, you know, you was Team Yandy. Like you were not trying to beat Team Kimbella, whatever. And you was throwing Kimbella under the bus. And he's like, No, 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 no. My issue with Kimbella was she went back to you, Chrissy, and gave you like partial information trying to make it seem as if Yandy was being shady about that whole foreclosure thing. And all Yandy did was read the damn blog. That was it. But she also said, had she been managing Jim, jo Jim Jones, it wouldn't have happened. Technically, what she said was, when it started happening, is when she stopped managing Jim. Two different things. It may be in the same realm, but she didn't say what, well, she didn't say that, okay? We got to play dictionary. Anyway, like, I don't care about this. I don't care, okay? I want to invite y'all to an event. My nephew was disabled, and Yandy put in an event. We're going to have a jumpathon, okay? Where people come, and they play double dutch and jump rope, okay, to raise money. And I'm like, okay. Okay. And Chris then said, I'd rather give a check than come if Yandy going to be, you know, do girl, look, I would never in my life... <sighs> Let somebody I don't like prevent me from going somewhere I want to go. Now, if I don't want to go, I'll say I can't. I don't want to go. I, I can't make it. I'll give you a check. I wish you the best. But I'm not gonna be a thing like oh Yandy there. I I'm not gonna be around that. I don't mean I'll be like man fuck Yandy. Okay. Anyway, uh, I give him give him some money. Now we then see Rich go see his accountant. Okay, his bookkeeper. And who was that? His mama. His mama, wherever he go, she goes. His mama, his mama, <laughs> rich mama's in him. I made a whole song up. Anyway, so he brings up how his mama been his bookkeeper his whole life. Okay, ever since he had some business or whatever, his mama been the one to keep the books. That's smart. People try to make a scene with this. Oh my God, he's a baby. He's a mama's boy. If you're if you have a a good mother, a uh, look. If y'all think on, on on any green earth that when things start to pop in more for me, then my mama will not be in charge of my stuff, man, please. That's my mama. Okay, she got me down. She 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 got my back. Rich is smart to have the one person who you know you can trust as the being in control of his money. Okay, he knew, and his mama seemed pretty. You know, it's on up and up or whatever. So he brings about. I saw Olivia at the studio. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know she still did music. We didn't either. We didn't either. Um, he brings about. She said I stole from her. She was like, "Say what?" She said, "What?" Oh my God! I can. You don't. You didn't steal anything from her. You don't owe her. I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? He said, "I know." You know what I'm saying? I told her that she didn't write the record. You know what I'm saying? She she didn't write the record. She sang on it and she made tons of money going around the U.S. of the A. Okay, singing the song. So she made money touring with a song and we do know sometimes as an artist uh, not, no a lot of artists say that's how they make the bulk of their money by touring it ain't about record sales it's them touring they can tour make money and so yeah whatever anyway mama you know how much you know she owes you she owes you because she all that time you know all the things you did for her she never paid for anything okay she didn't pay for all those mixtapes none of those videos the this we i'm like oh this makes sense because when you are an independent artist you do you know you do have that and if you are an independent artist to where you're they're spending money on you for these things, but you ain't making any money and they're not recouping anything, I, girl, I guess so. I'm not trying to say Rich is 100% factual or whatever. I I feel like Olivia didn't cross her T's and dot her I's and get a clear indication 
on who on what with the songs. And that's where the, the confusion comes into play, okay? So I don't think she's necessarily wrong. I think she may not have, have understood what she got herself into is what I think was going on. It, it, it kind of made Richard jerk if he didn't explain things. But, I mean, it is what it is. Anyway... And then he was, uh, she was out there booking gigs with Cisco behind your back. And Cisco didn't say nothing, okay? Didn't say nothing. And I'm like, man, Cisco been beefed out for a minute. But I digress. Now, we do see Jonathan has this whole little jump-a-thon thing or whatever. And his people there, you know, jump, 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 rope. Now, we see Samaya Reese is back, okay? Samaya Reese was on season one. She does look great, okay? She looks much more put together than she did on season one back when Chrissy and them thought she was a weird broke girl and they would tease her okay she had like bad shoes bad clothes because at that point in time she was literally a struggling artist and she was broke like she herself admitted she was broke living in, in a, like a broke down attic okay but now she has you know climbed the ladder of success and she started a whole a detox tea company and now it's a multi billion no multi million dollar company and so she's no longer that weird broke girl okay and again she looks amazing amazing anyway uh we see Yanny's there crazy jen's there crazy jen say since her and febreze on the alps or whatever she's been hanging out more with, with uh yandy and um and jonathan i said oh for camera time okay so we also see kim bella's there to support but no chrissy no chrissy so i don't understand how jonathan notices the whole event with his disabled nephew to raise some money and he up here trying to get yandy and kim bella to talk do you want them to fight do you want a fight in front of your nephew i'm like jonathan you're messy so much so that when you were talking to your nephew and said hey can bella's the messy one he said no i went in your room your hair you had clothes all on the floor you messy i say nephew he is messy as hell okay anyway i'm happy that yandy dodged the bullshit okay because he kept yandy come over here he she's like no I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Nope. Not going to do it. I'm going to go the other way. Not going to catch me. Now, Kimbella, of course, was all for it. Because I feel like Kimbella needs a storyline. Okay? And, because she, I think they get paid per episode, honey. And we know Jim Jones ain't, uh, not Jim Jones, what's that boy name? Santana ain't bringing no money home because he is in prison. Anyway, we do see, you know, they raised some money. We see the city of whatever the day in gave $5,000 or whatever. And then Jonathan then said, I want to thank all of you for coming out. I'm saying we raised enough money for two, the first two surgeries and the physical therapy after those two surgeries or whatever. We raised $97,000. I'm pretty sure after this episode, they're going to probably put up a GoFundMe somewhere. To get the other, you know, 63, well, I guess 63,000. But I feel like it was going to take more than two surgeries to get it done. Do you still do the surgeries? Because then what happens later on? Girl, I don't know. But at least the little boy legs won't have to get cut off. Uh, we then see Rich meets up with PETA. And we have a creep squad meeting, okay? So we have, you know, we see, uh, uh what's the boy name? Uh, Cisco, Okay. Peter Guns and Rich Dollars, okay? The original Crew Squad or whatever. And, you know, Rich tells Peter he has an issue with Cisco telling Olivia that Rich was stealing money, okay? He's like, man, that Cisco is always something or whatever. So when Sister get that, when Sister, when Cisco walks in, Pete like, look, bro, did you tell Olivia that, you know what I'm saying, Rich was stealing money from her? Like, did you, did you tell her that? He's like, I didn't say that. You know, that's not what I told her. I didn't do that at all. But I did take her to see some people or whatever to help her out. And Rich is all upset. He's up there yelling. He got his blood pressure all up. The veins popping out of his head from yelling. It was just team too much if it asked me. You lying. You lying. You took her to see some people behind my back. You mis you misled her on purpose because you have some underlying issue with me. And you, that, you lying. I'm like, well, girl, it's a rich comedy ass down. You know what I'm saying? You should have told me you was helping her. Because you should have told me I'm like, rich, which, which are you? Why? If you didn't do anything wrong, what does he have to tell you for? Okay? Anyway, Cisco said, you know what? 
I was wrong. I was wrong for not telling you anything about it or whatever. But I would never imply that you're a thief. I, I just wouldn't do that. You see, like, you know what we need to do? We need to get Olivia here. And we can ask her what's going on. Yeah, we, we need to figure out why she called me a thief and a liar. Cause I didn't do that. So why is she lying on you? And I'm like, I want to know too. Because she did say that Cisco told her that. Okay, she did say, well, you know, Tommy, you know what Cisco or whatever. Um, but we know Cisco could be lying. He does that before. He's, he's been a liar before. Um, so they going to get together with Olivia. Have a little chit chat. Have a crew squad plus one meeting. I say, Lord Jesus, just get it all fixed. Um. Lastly, Jonathan has a a summer party. I don't know why, girl. I don't know why. And you see, he has Yandy, Samaya, you know, Ghetto Jen, Sin, and Kimbella. I was like, Mona. <sighs> Mona make my scalp itch right now. Mona didn't had them had his party solely to start a fight between Gandy and Cambella. We know that's what it is or whatever. So they plan truth or dare. And Samaya asked, So Yandy, are you at odds with the, are you at odds with anyone? I was like, Okay. So clearly this was the point. Girl, I was like, it's as bad acting at this point. They want Kimbella and Yandy to talk. So Kimbella says how you say I just I'm upset because Yandy didn't really defend me all them years ago, whatever, when Chrissy beat my ass. I'm upset because you know what I'm saying she wasn't right there with me when I was getting my ass beat. Okay, she was over in the corner behind Emily. And I'm like, I think Chrissy I think Chrissy knocked the common sense out of Cambella because of you were I remember the scene when when Chrissy first tried to attack Cambella, Yandy literally was in between them, holding Chrissy back and Chrissy was pushing Jandy onto Cambella. And then security stepped in and they they separated them all. Chrissy went over and beat her ass so quick. No one had a chance to get over there. And you just didn't know what was happening. It was just shocking. And what did you... Girl, you went there and told Emily that you used to bang her man. You... You know, it's, things happen. It was, I'm not saying Chrissy was right. I'm not saying Chrissy was right. What I'm saying is, Kimbella kind of got to quit acting like she just was this innocent victim and they who got attacked and Yandy should have been her bodyguard. I'm like, they ain't paying Yandy to be a bodyguard. They ain't, that ain't what they paid her for, okay? And again, this was eight years ago. And how are you more upset with Yandy than you are with Chrissy, who dog walked you? Had your coochie out, okay? And punch you dead. Man, I don't think I've ever seen anyone get hit and and, and beat up like that on TV. I, I don't. I, it was bad. It was bad. And you are closer or cool with Chrissy, who did that, than Yandy, who tried to stop it. But couldn't. Girl, I could not. You know what I'm saying? And then you were on scene with Jonathan talking about it. Like I deserved it. And I was like, girl, what? What? And then he <laughs> said, well, you know what? The fact that you keep calling me like fake whatever, you did deserve it. What? Bitch, I can't believe, girl. <sighs> she is really upset with Yandy. Because Yandy did not stop. Girl, I just, I just, I, it got to be something else. Yandy had to have tried to fuck Joelle behind Kimbella back, in, and that's the real reason why. Because it can't be nothing in some class. You didn't stop me from getting beat up, even though you stopped me from getting beat up the first time. Is when the girl got up the second time that you wasn't quick enough to to stop me from getting beat up. My thing is, if Chrissy came at me one time, if I ain't want to fight, I would have left. Samaya, who was there at the time, said, you know, technically, Yanny was trying to help, but she was being pushed around, too. That's how Chrissy got to your ass, but I digress, okay? Kimbella, all in her face, or whatever, she brings up how, you know, Yanny's a fake friend, with a fake marriage, and she's a fake businesswoman, she's a fake businesswoman, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Yanny, you know what I'm saying? Do something. Do something. I'm like, girl... And you see Yandy standing there, 
Real calm. Real calm or whatever I'm saying. Real calm. I feel like Yandy knew I'm fed up. I am tired of fussing with her. I'm tired of fussing with her. So if I stay here and be real quiet and real calm, security won't think to stop me. Okay? That's the trick to do it. You gotta make... You can't make moves that let security know that you're gonna do something. She was just standing there. Do something, bitch. Do something you do. And Yandy just... Took off, and I think she picked up something to drink and threw it at her. And then she tried to, like, attack her. But she was quick. But security was quicker. Okay, and he kind of broke up. And that's kind of how it went off. Kim Bella, you will never be anything more than Joelle Santana's wife if you continue to want to just focus on this one fight from, from how many years ago and fuss with Yandy. You could have made this season a standout season where you was no longer just Jim Jones. You're not Jim Jones. Joelle Santana, you know, new wife. You could have just shown yourself being a, you know, a mom, holding your family down, you know what I'm saying, doing things with your life. But all you out here doing is fussing with Yandy about a fight that she wasn't even a part of. Yo, you really should be fussing with Chrissy, but you won't because you know Chrissy will fight you. Yanny is, Yanny, it takes a lot for Yanny to want to, to fight somebody because she has things to lose. Kids, endorsement deals, bitches or whatever. Cambella ain't got shit to lose with her hair. That's it. That's it. And I feel like you just had a baby. What you fussing for? Why are you not taking time and just doing better things with your girl? I just could not. Yandy need to punch Kimbella in the face at least two times. Just so at that point in time, Kimbella has a valid reason to be pissed off. Anyway, we'll see what happens next week. Um, you know, I know Yandy didn't like fight or fight or whatever. It was fine. And because anything you hear John saying, get her! Get her! It means ain't nothing really happening. Just gonna say that. Anyway, that was the whole episode. Peace.